Hi, grade one. How are you today? Uh, today we are going to take new lesson in chapter 11. It is going to be about using mental math. But before I will start the new lesson, I would like to say big thank you to all of those who are working and doing all the homework and completing the worksheets. I have seen some of your worksheets and I'm so glad. I saw also your videos and I see that you understand the lesson, but that means you are super, super smart. Right, grade one? Well, now let's get started and go to using mental math. So, what is a mental math? What does it mean, mental math? Boys and girls, mental math means when someone will give you a math question, like addition question, and instead of using pen and paper, you will use your mind, you will use your thinking to solve the question in your mind. So this is mental math, using your mind to solve the question without using pen and paper. But mental math also means solving questions in logical way. So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to work with the big numbers. We are going to add three digit numbers using the mental math. You have here 467 plus 231. When you see such a big numbers, you will say, uh oh, that is pretty hard, right? No, not really. This is super easy. Why? I will show you why and I will explain to you why. Uh, do you remember what did I tell you in the previous lesson? That every number is made of digits? Yes, we know it, right? We know that each digit has its name. Like number seven is the last one. We call it ones digit. The six number is in the middle. We call it the tens digit. And four is the first one. We call it a hundreds digit. So every number that is made of numbers, it, the numbers we call digits. And the digits have names. Ones, tens, hundreds. Ones, tens, hundreds. Do you remember that? Yeah. And now, you know that you are grade one, right? So you grade one, boys and girls, you are friends with grade one girls and boys only, right? And grade two kids, grade two students are friends with grade two students. And grade three students are friends with grade three students, right? It is the similar thing with the numbers, you see. Hundreds are friends with hundreds. Tens are friends with tens. And ones are friends with ones when you do the addition. Why? Because when you're doing the addition, you will add the hundreds together, then you will add the tens together, and then you will add the ones together. Once again, you will add the hundreds first, then you will add the tens second, and then you will add the ones. Hundreds go with hundreds, tens go with tens, and ones go with ones. I will show you how. Look at that. 467 plus 231. How many hundreds do we have in the first number? Four hundreds. And do you know how do we write four hundred? With four and zero, zero, right? And how many hundreds do we have in the second number? Two. We write it with zero, zero. Two hundred. Two and zero, zero. So we will add them together. How much is 400 plus 200? It is 600. Very good. Now, we already have hundreds with hundreds. They go together. Now, we will have tens. Tens will go together. They are friends. So, how many tens do we have in the first number? Six tens. And second number, three tens. Six tens means 60. And three tens means 30. 6 plus 3 equals 9. We will have 9 tenths or 90. Now we have 1s. 7 and 1. 7 plus 1 will go together. How much is 7 plus 1? It is 8. 
Very good. So what shall we do now? Now we will do the standard form. Remember the standard form? You will take the first digit of each number, starting from hundreds. Six, nine, eight, and put them together. Six, nine, eight, six hundred, ninety-eight, and you are done. You have the answer. How much is 467 plus 231? It is 698. Let's practice some more. We have 326 plus 542. How many hundreds do we have in the first number? 300. And second number? 500. Put them together. 300 plus 500 equals 800. Very good. Now what do we do next? Add the tens. Very good. The first number has how many tens? Two tens. And the second? Four tens. Two tens plus four tens means twenty plus forty. How much is that? It is six tens or sixty, right? Good. And what we do now? now what's the last thing? We add the ones. Six plus two. Very good. And how much is six plus two? It is 8. And what do we do now? We will do the standard form using the first digit of each number, starting from hundreds. 8, 6, 8. 868. And that's the answer. 326 plus 542 equals 868. One more time. How many hundreds do you have in the first number? 142? 100. How many hundreds do you have in the number 653? 600. 100 plus 600 equals how much? 700. Very good. What do we do next? Add the tens. 4 tens plus 5 tens equals how many tens now? 9 tens. What do we do next? Add the ones. Very good. 2 plus 3. How much is 2 plus 3? It will be 5. And what's the total number? Use the first digit of each number, starting from hundreds, then tens and ones. 7, 9, 5. 795. That's the answer. Now, if you're ready and if you understand this lesson, let's start in your reading, in your math textbook. I always call your math textbook reading textbook. <laughs> Forgive me, please. So, open up your math textbook, please, on the page 427. We will do only one page, only this page, 427. I will tell you why, because the next page has, is using different strategy, and that strategy I will teach you tomorrow. Of Sunday. So let's go and do the first strategy when we adding hundreds, tens, and ones separately, and then we add the first digits together. So in the first number, 236, how many hundreds do you have? Two. In the second number, 312, how many hundreds do you have? Three. So, two hundreds with three hundreds are how many together? Five hundreds. Next step, we're going to add the tens, right? How many tens do you have in the first number? We have three tens. In the second number, we have how many tens? One ten. Three tens and one ten, or thirty plus ten, equals forty. And now let's do the ones digits. What is the first number of ones digit? Six. And the second number? Two. Six plus two equals eight. Now what will we do? We will take the first digit of each number starting from hundreds. Five, then four, then eight. And we have the answer. 548. Number 2, 452 plus 323. How many hundreds do you have in the first number? Four hundreds. How many hundreds do you have in the second number? Three hundred. How many hundreds are together? 
4 plus 300 will be 700. Next step, we add the tens. How many tens do you have in the first number? 5 tens, 50. How many tens do you have in the second number? 2 tens, 20. 5 tens and 2 tens are 7 tens or 70. And the last one, we will add the ones. 2 plus 3 equals 5. Now, what we will do to get the answer? Take the first number of each, sorry, first digit of each number. And that will be the 7, 7, and 5. 775. That's it. Now, you can do this one alone without my help. But I'm going to give the answers anyway, so you can watch. But I will not talk. You can complete it on your own. Do it now and watch as I do it as well. Did you get the same answer as I do? Very good, very good. Now, when you finish this page, 427, I would like you to open your math workbooks now on page R11. Because on this page, there is new way how we add the big numbers, different strategy. So I would like to do the math workbook, page R11. R11, are you ready? Now, when we add in big numbers like this, we can use also something we, what we call expanded form. Do you remember expanded form? I will show you. You have 523 here. What's the expanded form? It is when you write the addition sentence uh, uh, separately with hundreds, tens and ones. Do you remember? 523, it has five hundreds, two tens and three ones. This is what we call expanded form. Now let's do expanded form for 172. 172 has one hundred, seven tens and two ones. So you can use expanded form to add the big numbers together because 5 plus 100 equals 600. 2 plus 7 tenths equals 9 tenths. And 3 plus 2 equals 5 ones. And then what will you do? You will take the first digit of each number. 6, 9, 5. And you have the answer. So, we are using an expanded form to complete, to find the answer. One more time. 141 plus 536. 141, what is the expanded form? 100 plus 40 plus 1. Can you see? And 536, it is 5 hundredths. And then 3 tenths, 30, and 6. Do you remember? Now we will add them. 1 plus 5 equals 600. 4 plus 3 equals 7 tenths. And 1 plus 6 equals 7. So the answer will be when you take the first digit. 6, 7, 7. 677. Did you understand? Now we are going to your book, R11.1. Ready? Okay, let's go and do. Complete your page on the empty lines. We have 281. I need to make it into expanded form. What is expanded form for 281? Two hundreds, eight tenths, and one. Like this. Write it down.
Now we're going to do expanded form for 716. 716 has seven hundreds, one ten, and six ones. This is expanded form. Now we will add it together. 900 plus 90 plus 7. So what will be the answer? The answer will be 997. So 281 plus 716 is 997. 997. 997. Write it down. And the last one, one more. 193 plus 605. Be careful because 605 has no tens. 193 in the expanded form will be 100 plus 90 plus 3. Six hundred and five will be six hundred plus zero tenths plus five. Let's add them. One hundred plus six hundred equals seven hundred. Ninety plus zero equals ninety. And three plus five equals eight. So, this is expanded form. What will be the standard form? To make the standard form, you will take the first digit of each number, starting from hundreds. 7, 9, 8. 798. So, 193 plus 605 equals 798. Okay, did you understand that? I don't think that was difficult. That's it for today. We will continue with another mental math way how to add um, how to add the big numbers, different strategy. That will be on Sunday. So I'll see you on Sunday. Have a nice weekend, everyone. Bye-bye for now. Bye.